Now that's a rainbow. Hey guys, it's Invalid. Um, it's been a while since I had one of these update videos, but uh, just wait a second. A lot of people coming through here. So it's been a while since I've had one of these updates where I'm just uh, sitting on some shore or something and taking in nature, but uh, I'm in Idaho and I made it safe and sound and I've been here for about a week and a half. Or has been two. Yeah, about a week and a half. And uh, we just recently experienced some rain, if you couldn't tell by the glorious rainbow over there. Man, that's so pretty. Um, but we're starting to get some clear skies now at this point so just sitting under a tree messing with the cameras auto adjust with the lighting god this thing sucks on the phone uh, but it's still capturing what I want to see so it's fine um, so what's been going on well a lot really a lot's been going on for me I've um, I've had a small experience. I've had a couple days where I was actually homeless out here. I came out um, after some rather chaotic events on the day before I actually flew out here. Didn't meet up with some friends that I wanted to because shit happened. And I flew out here and got picked up and drove up here to Sandpoint. And then I stayed with a friend a, a ways north from here for three nights and looked for a place that entire time. And he had to leave <coughs> for a week, so I couldn't stay there any longer because it wasn't his property. Um, he was staying by the generosity of some friends of his so I had to leave and I slept in my car for three days for three nights three nights two days Friday Saturday no two nights so yeah I was I was homeless basically for two days um, but not quite not quite in the same way that some other people are homeless I still had a place to sleep that was relatively sheltered um, which happened to be my car and uh, I found out a way to make it really comfortable the night after the night before I found a place and I did find a place and I love the landowner I love the landlord she's an awesome lady and she's got a bunch of animals <laughs> which is like even better And the rent's actually cheaper than what I was paying last year, which is, like, phenomenal. Um, I, I got a really good deal on the rent. And if I help out around the house, if I help basically caretake for her, then that's great. Because she's an older lady and she has a really old dog, like a 60-pound, 18-and-a-half-year-old dog. If you guys don't know about dog lives, that's, like, 100 years old. <laughs> I wish I was joking, but I'm not. This dog is ancient old in dog years, especially for a 60-pounder. Um, most dogs her size, most dogs with that are 60 pounds or more typically live for like 14 to 15 years, and even that's kind of getting up there. Um, so this, this dog is old. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, one of... One of the landowner's friends said she's just living on love at this point, and it's it's so true that the dog is the sweetest thing, um, and the landlady is uh, 
she's all heart. She's really all heart. Um, oh, the rainbow went away mostly. It's like a little, little bitty tinge of it, like right there. Just a little bit, but it's fading. But yeah, they're getting rained out on the other side of the lake. That's <laughs> uh, more like a drizzle, but whatever. But yeah, I, I really like the landlady, so that's cool. Um, and on top of all that, she doesn't have a TV running 24-7, and she has internet. So I don't have to go to the library every time I want to do anything with YouTube or, <laughs> or something else. Uh, so it's really darn cool. And it's not satellite, so it has unlimited data, just unlimited data usage. I just have a limit on how much I can download and or or upload in, in one in one go, you know, like the uh, just the bit just the regular like um, one megabyte megabit of upload speed and five gig five megabits of download speed, um, which is about what I have or what the landlady has, I should say. Um, so that's pretty cool. She's she's got internet and uh, it's all good. Um, there are some other updates though that are kind of mixed messages, mixed feelings, I suppose. Um, one of them happens to be the the program that I signed up for. Um, you may remember that's the reason why I moved out here, both this year and last year. It's been canceled again. Um, they had a good number of participants that were signed up, but in the past week and a half, well, past two weeks, a lot of people pulled out at the last minute. Um, a lot of people canceled. And so they're just, they're not going to, they're not going to follow through with it. They're going to come up with something else and talk with me and a couple of the other people that were signed up for it and see where they're at and what might work for us. So we'll see what happens in the future. Um, but I am going to be staying here in Sandpoint. I'm probably going to be visiting home earlier than I was expecting. <laughs> Since I suddenly don't have any commitments for the next month and a half, or four months. Um, well, I do have some commitments, but they're, they're not quite as large as a three-day-a-week program you know, 30 minutes north of Sandpoint, or anything like that. Ow. You know, gravel's not terribly comfortable on the feet, or on the, or on the fingers. I, uh, I keep wounding myself trying to make some comfortable spaces and moving rocks out from under my, my feet as I kick up dust. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been interesting though, because even though the even though the program is no longer in session, I'm still here in Sandpoint, and I can still work with um, the people that head up this wilderness school. And my mom's actually going to be visiting in a week, something like that, to celebrate my birthday because I am turning 21. Not that it's going to affect me much, since I don't plan on drinking. I'm not a huge fan of alcohol or anything fermented, so... You know, that's that. But it's a year... It's a year older, and it's... A year later than when I was born, so... Yeah, some good stuff happening. Um, and... There's also... One of the things I've actually been into that I haven't told many people about, save some of my friends and my mom at this point. I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, one of the things that I've actually been into, or really interested in, is actually massage therapy. And I know there's the whole thing where it's like, okay, I get to work with um, the pretty ladies and then the muscular buff guys and whatever, and then there's the old people or the kids that are skinny, fat, sweaty, whatever. Um, none of that bothers me. I mean, I would be doing it more for the for the kinesthetic hands-on stuff than anything else. Um, 
and there's actually a massage school right here in Sandpoint, which I did not realize, and I'm going to be looking into it and seeing what goes on there. So yeah, that's cool. Um, and the sun went away. That's kind of unfortunate. I guess I might have to do a little post-processing and kick up the brightness a bit. Oh well, it's fine. Man, that sky is beautiful though. It's kind of moving too. Ouch. And yes, there is a railroad kind of right behind me, so... <laughs> you know, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so you guys may have noticed that I've been posting Thief Gold videos again. Um, those are going to be coming out once a week, just like the 20XX videos that I recorded. There's one more, two more? I can't remember how many more 20XX videos I have, but uh, there's a fair number of Thief Gold videos, but um, I did a... I just did a bulk recording session before I left, and I actually managed to get some videos recorded instead of, like, screwing up. Um, so I got all those rendered and uploaded. Um, so all of them are actually on YouTube right now, but they're going to be released on a timely schedule, so you guys can enjoy those while I'm really getting settled in and um, getting some stuff worked out, because there are some inconsistencies between me and my landlady. Um, first off, there's the fact that she works three days a week for 11 hours, and she's a light sleeper. The house I'm staying in is several decades old, and the stairs are right over her bed, and happen to be extremely noisy. And by noisy, I mean you put any pressure on them and they go, Aah. they creak. The entire upstairs creaks, the entire house creaks. It's a creaky house, um, which doesn't bother me at all, but I stand to tear up, I stand to, what? How do I word? I tend to stay up really late because I'm a I'm a major night owl, especially when I have like internet or computers around, um, or anything I can do really during the night when I'm kind of tired but not really wanting to go to bed yet. And so I'll stay up until three in the morning. But since she's a light sleeper, I can't really walk around or move really. I mean, even my bed creaks. <laughs> Um, it's not the bed itself, but it's the mattress. There's like, um, there's a, a support thing under the mattress, and that's really creaky too. So, she can basically hear every single move I make. And if she wasn't a light sleeper, that wouldn't be a problem. But she is. And so it is. And that's one of the things we want to figure out and see if we can come up with a solution that works for both of us. And... Quite frankly, the easiest solution is just for me to get my button to bed earlier, but... <laughs> if, uh, if I had the option to, I would be perfectly happy to be staying up until 3 in the morning. Because I'm just weird like that. But, uh... Yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of the deal with that, but I have internet. And my laptop is still able to play some games. It's it's not going to be Thief Gold once those videos are done. Once the Thief Gold videos are done, they're done. Um, until I get back to Virginia and can record some stuff on my actual gaming desktop. This is some more passers-by. camera in a chair again. I wonder if it's the same person. No, it's not. Okay. A lot of photographers come out on this trail, I've noticed. I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, it's a very picturesque. Very picturesque. It's beautiful out here. I can totally understand why people would come out here for, for photography. Um, and I'm actually on a on a trail, well, on an offshoot of a trail, really, that uh, kind of starts out, um, there's a resort strip that extends outward from Sandpoint, which uh, you can sort of see right over there, and there's some hotels that run along that strip, and if you continue along it, 
you'll actually come out on this trail and that goes up a fair ways around the coast. I think it stops right about there or something. Um, it's a private property. Or maybe over there. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe like over there somewhere. Might be it. But uh, it's, a, it's a nice trail. Unfortunately, most of it's graveled, but um, very beautiful. It runs along the shore. So you get that really nice contrast between um, the lapping waves and the greenery on, on shore. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah. So yeah, once once the once the Thief Gold videos run out, then um, then they're done until I can get back to Virginia and record some more. I really enjoy that game. I actually miss playing that for you guys. Um, and quite frankly, I mean, I don't even know that it matters how much I have stored in my mind about what went on with Looking Glass and the development of Thief or anything like that, because the game has enough to say about itself. Um, it's, it's quite a... It's a rich atmosphere. It's a rich world that um, the people at Looking Glass designed. Looking Glass is, un, is unfortunately defunct. Um, they liquidated their assets several... What was that, 98, I think, when they... when they signed out? Or was that 99? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's that's a whole story that I can share in either Thief or System Shock or some other game that they made. <laughs> um, but yeah, Thief, the Thief series is really good. Um, up until the... Well, even the reboot isn't bad, the one that came out in 2014. That one, that game isn't terrible, but um, it's... I don't think it's a great tribute to what the Thief series originally was. So... Oh well, I can talk about that when I actually get around to playing it. Um, so yeah, I will be able to play some other games though. I still have that point and click that I want to show you guys. Um, Harry Potter, I can play on my laptop. I tested it and it works. There's some funny stuff going on behind the scenes with that, and I'll, I'll share that once I actually start playing Goblet of Fire. But yeah, I, I think you guys and I will definitely get a kick out of that. I still need to finish reading the fourth book, um, which I need to get from the library because I don't have my own copy with me. <laughs> That's back in Virginia because I forgot to pack it. Um, I mean, the book is like three or four pounds anyway, so not a huge deal. But, but yeah, I need to finish reading it and then we can start playing and going through the Goblet of Fire and the trials of whatnot and see the dragons and everything so that's going to be fun that is definitely going to be fun um primordia i'm going to be resuming as well i actually had to catch up on that because i didn't transfer saves over back over to my laptop but you know it wasn't too hard it just copied everything i did in the uh, in my fourth episode so that'll be coming back um i might be doing something with doom i don't know yet I'm not going to be doing Doom 2016. I don't own the game, nor do I have a rig powerful enough to play it, regardless whether I was in Virginia or not. So, you know. But, uh... We'll see. We shall see what else comes up. So I got three games planned, and I think that's enough. So... <laughs> um... And I think that'll about do it for today I spent a lot of time yammering on so but anyway that's enough for now um, I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day take care bye for now